Hello everyone and welcome to our Ventura TV. I'm Sandra Cpac. On today's show we're going to start with talking about beginning your own business and becoming an entrepreneur. Our guest today is Adelheid Heidi Wambolt. She is a businesswoman, entrepreneur, and guest speaker on building and starting a business. Thank you so much for joining us on the program today. Thank you so much Lots for having Lots to talk me. about, so we're going to get started. Um, you've built your own successful business. You've been there. You've overcome quite a few challenges along the way. Um, how do you start, and how do you start with becoming the businesswoman, branding and messaging, and getting your business started? So I think, you know, for any business and any entity, you really need yeah. to have a bottom line foundational message. This is going to be the image you portray wherever you go, within yeah. whatever marketing materials you have, and throughout your clientele. So you need to get that one sentence, usually it's three to five words that become your slogan, absolutely correct, on point. And it needs to be fluid with your logo. These two items are going to be the brand identification within every human mind that is unique to you and how people will recognize who you are, why your business is different, why it's better than your competitor, and why they should choose you in any given sector. Good. It's very competitive out there. No matter what business you are in, I think it, it matters that it's very competitive. So it, it really makes people stand back and say, how am I gonna do this? Right. So let's talk about raising capital and making that business happen. What does it take to do that? So there's a couple of different avenues you can go through. A lot of people these days are doing crowdfunding. They think that's the big thing. For me, I'm not you know, a huge fan of crowdfunding. Yeah. If you're gonna do crowdfunding, you need to be uh, with an agency who's going to support that campaign. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, my my best niche idea is to choose a good partner. Choose a partner that has funding that's in line with your sector. You need to be able to help them, they need to be able to help you. And together you will rise through the echelons of success until you reach the top. This is always a good way to find a niche as well because lots of people are scared to find a partner. They want mm -hmm. to do everything by themselves. They don't want to share the capital. But the fact of the matter is 50% of a big number is way more than 100% of nothing. Mm -hmm. So partnership really does make a difference. Definitely, and I think if you find a strategic partner who mm -hmm. makes your business special, for example, you know, a, a business development agency and a publicity yeah. agency, those right. two things go really well together because as you move through the ranks, mm -hmm. one is always uh, giving the message in a clear and sound way, while the other one is making sure that the business is always foundationally successful and able to serve the clientele. Right. Building a business, as you can already tell, I mean, you've been there, you've known what it's like to start and go through some of the challenges along the way. Um, networking is so crucial and it's so important. And I think along the lines, people may not know, how do I start doing all this networking and will it really matter? So I'd like you to address that a little bit. Networking is so important, and there, there are two different ways that you need to network. You need to network online. You need to have a great LinkedIn profile that showcases your business, and also you need to be able to just go out there and, and make connections and look for people who you want to align with. But you need to be ready to do that in everyday life physically as well. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people think, you know, I might not have access to the, the best restaurant in town where I think everybody is going to, sure. but you can go other places. If you're trying to align with politicians, go to some town hall meetings, get, get there, meet the people you're trying to get in front of, mm -hmm. shake their hands, give your business cards, and make meetings for the future. So one-on-one -on -one relationships with people in a networking experience really does make a difference. Oh, absolutely. There's mm -hmm. nothing that will compare ever to seeing someone face to face right. and being able to deliver your message and make that friendly association where they're always going to remember that interaction. If you're in an email box, you're just like every other person who's trying to, you know, crawl into a business or trying right. to crawl into a space whereas, a, you know, a person to person meeting really sets the tone for the future. Can you give us an experience of your own that maybe you feel that would be good to share with viewers about your own networking experience? You know, absolutely. Um, I network every day. I network everywhere I go. If okay. I am even in a line getting a sandwich, I'm giving my business card out to someone because you right. never know who you're going to meet and That's you true. never know how they're going to help you. You know, if you meet someone, I'm in a business development agency, right? If I meet a plumber, I'm still going to give him my business card because who knows? He might meet, need my assistant, I need his assistance, and we move forward and, and make a good mm -hmm. relationship. I think it's good to 
talk. <laughs> right. And not just rely on your phone or an email message or a text message. Get out there and talk to people. I think wouldn't you agree that that makes a big difference? You should know. Well, of course. And yeah. I think the more people that you associate with, the more broad that your network is, the more sectors right. that you, you are able to work in and go through. You know, in any given day, you're going to find uh, liaisons that are, are needed in a whole different bunch of areas. It's not so cut and dry. It's not always going to be obvious. Mm -hmm. So you need to be able to reach out to someone who you know, who's going to make a sure. good deal with you and who's going to say, you know, Heidi, we have a personal relationship. I'm gonna give you that 15% discount or I'm gonna do this for free if you'll kick me back some business development services. Bartering is still a great way to move forward through the ranks. If you don't have a lot of capital and you need to get things done, offer your services in return for services that you need. Right. Which. Makes sense. Right. I mean, especially if you don't have the capital to start out with. Certainly. That would be a great idea to do is bartering. Right. So that's good that you brought that up. Uh, strategic planning and implementing a business plan mm -hmm. really does make sense. Have goals in mind. Have what you want to do and accomplish. Correct? Absolutely. Just as in your everyday life when yeah. you should be balancing your checkbook and understanding <laughs> your finances, right. in your business you need to understand how much money you have, how much money you're looking to get, what you need to make your business run in a smooth and successful way, okay. and be able to implement that. You need to have the right people around you. Do not infiltrate your business with a bunch of people that you're not sure if you can trust, that you're not sure if it's going to work out within the future. Better to start small, build slowly, but with confidence. Okay. Um, as a woman entrepreneur, you have mentored people, you have given guest speaking engagements to people, uh, giving advice for those starting out. Um, so let's talk about some of those points that you'd like to focus on and what you feel are some of the most important things when you're starting out with a business. I think the most important thing when you're starting out with a business is to have that foundational plan. I'll okay. say it time and time again, get, right. your, get your plan together and act on it. Don't be afraid. Fear is a huge hindrance. Right. People are afraid that they're not going to succeed. You know, failure is part of success. You right. need to fail in order to know how to do things correctly in order to succeed. So I okay. would say, go fearlessly into the day. Seize the day. Meet everyone you can sure. and get yourself out there into the universe. And people are very nervous about failure. Right. And they sometimes don't want to move forward because of failure. So I think it's good that you give people that advice to tell them it's okay. It's okay to fail. Definitely. Um, I know that um, when I went on your website, which is extremely informative, um, you mentioned some good points for people when they're hiring people, when they're starting out. Um, one of the things I liked what you said was a leader doesn't flinch or lose their temper. Would you agree with that? You know, it's very important to right. stay calm and people will try all day to get your feathers ruffled, uh, to get you sure. going. There's all kinds of egos in every given room and people want to make themselves heard. Sit back and listen. Listen to what they're right. saying. Find out how you can either calm them down and if you can't calm them down, Good. it's better to not engage. Mm -hmm. Right. What about staying organized? foundational aspect Again, of any given business. Organizing makes all the difference. Absolutely. If you're going to be completely disheveled and not organized, I think it's going to be a tougher tougher sell. Certainly. And, you know, in anything that you do, organization is better. Even if we just talk to our kids in day-to-day -day life, yes. clean your room, you'll be able to find things. That's, That's right. pretty much across the board in right. any given sector. What about choosing employees? Let's say you are now in the point where you have begun uh, expanding the business right. and now you're hiring and you're bringing people in. What are some of the good things that you look for in hiring I employees? I look for people without a huge ego. I think mm -hmm. ego uh, is a hindrance always okay. and I look for people who aren't gossip queens. I don't need people running around the office talking about each other, mm -hmm. uh, especially not badly. If someone's going to talk poorly about someone else, they're also going to talk poorly about you and your business at the end of the day. So find people who mm -hmm. are reliable, strong, and, and have a courageous spirit of fidelity and loyalty. Right. Support of uh, the business is right. certainly going to be ex it's very ex important. Absolutely. It makes all the difference. Um, let's talk about one of my favorite things, which is marketing and promotion publicity. I think that really does matter for a business. Um, what would you feel uh, coming from the standpoint of a businesswoman? How does marketing and promotion 
make a value on your business? Obviously, if nobody knows about you, you're the world's best kept secret and okay. nobody wants to be that. You can be the best in your business. If no one has any information about your business, it will fail. Mm -hmm. So you really need to get out there. Traditional marketing is great. Get the flyers out there, get into newspapers, get into magazines. Uh, across the board, that's very important. But I would say business people need to understand that everyone these days needs a publicist. Whether you are you know, an entertainment professional or whether you have a product on the market and you need strategic partnerships and sponsorships to get involved and get some product placement, mm -hmm. you need someone who's going to put you in front of the right people that will be able to send your message and help you spread it to the greater community. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what type of business you have, publicity really will make any business better. Absolutely. And, and you know, it's also a third party endorsement. Mm -hmm. I can say all day long, I'm the best in my business, but if I have somebody else who says, no, she's actually the best in her business, sure. this is why, let me, let me tell you her story, yeah. that will be more helpful to everyone who's looking for your services. That's good. And I think many people may not realize uh, how to do that. So give us some pointers on how you market and how you can gain more publicity. Maybe you can't afford a publicist. What can you do on your own, just to begin? So, just to begin, you need to get this network on LinkedIn. I'll say it okay. all day. You need to you need to get you know across the board as many connections as you can, and then you need to build your social medias. You need your online presence to be strong. You need your website to be strong. Okay. You need SEO optimization so that people are the traffic and the Google search is going straight to the product or or. Uh, service that you're selling okay. and and that's easy you can do that all at home for $14 uh, you know on any of these right. easy to type in services after that you need to start creating messages that are in line with what people are looking for so you know depending on your product mm -hmm. Find who your market is, market to those people, get involved in the trends that they are looking for, and, right. and partner so that when you're developing any line of marketing you're sure that it's going to reach the people you're looking to reach. Right. So for our viewers out there, there is no excuse. You can do this. You can handle some of the marketing and promotion to begin the business um, when you're just starting out. It's not something that you can't do. These are some good tips that people can really follow well. Absolutely, and I would say, you know, I know that some people are still not so technically savvy and right. some people have a harder time with computers, but we all have family members sure. who are younger and who are, are you know, used to doing social media yeah. all day. In fact, you know, I, a lot of young kids these days out there are on their uh, phones doing mm -hmm. this social media 100% of the time. You can, you can get people to help you and don't be afraid to ask for help. Everyone should help each other in this world to get where we're all going. In a capsule version, give us a little bit of information that you would provide uh, from your own background that you feel is the most important thing when you're starting out. So the most important thing I would say when you're starting out uh, is to align yourself with okay. the right people, get those partnerships in place. Uh, be fearless in mm. speaking to your network. Don't be afraid to change if okay. you see the direction that's going uh, somewhere Which is so unsavory. Right, because many times you may have to make a change right. in, in your business plan. Absolutely. Don't be afraid. Absolutely. You right. know, it, it, you can't just write it down and then it will happen <laughs> right. all the time. Generally, there are changes that need to be made. Don't be afraid. Make them. If that doesn't work, change it again. Whatever you need to do, do it because the, the, the line will eventually lead to where you're going. Very good. Well, thank you very much for so much information. Can you share your website with us for viewers? Absolutely. So good. we are the ASET Agency. We are www.isetagency.com. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Heidi Wambolt, for joining us today. You've shared so many good business tips that I hope will help many business owners out there. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you for joining us today on Arventura TV. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, everyone.